In the last episode, we wrapped up our high school football career and we're moving on to the University of Oregon to start our college journey. The thing is, we have Tommy here trying to take our spot. So we got word from the coach saying that we're going to be splitting snaps and basically going to be having a quarterback battle here in Oregon. Something I did not expect, something I did not want, but hey, we got to go through the battles like these, man. It's part of the journey to go to the NFL. You know, you've both been sitting patiently for the past two years wait for your shot so I made a decision neither one of you will be starting come on coach give us a shot how many of those you guys have Now, as I was saying, neither of you will be starting, but both of you will be playing. Coach, I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm not switching positions. I'm not asking you to switch positions. You both get reps at QB. This is a defense first team now, so I don't need your heartbreak kids nonsense. All I need is for one of you to manage things and make sure the offense doesn't give the game away because my defense certainly won't. You understand? But you've seen what we did in high school. I don't care what the heartbreak kids did two years ago, son. I'm more concerned what you can do now in college and winning a lot more at ease. So I'm gonna rotate you guys. I'm gonna stick with the hot hand until I see what... I can get out of one of you and you'll start the first half. If you do well enough, you'll stay in. If not, we'll see what Tommy's got. Coach, you can't be serious. You two are competitors, right? Well, that's how you're gonna have to approach this as a competition. Now go on, get out of here. takes us to Miami, Florida at Hard Rock Stadium for the 2019 kickoff classic and an early season matchup of powerhouses. It's Stop that. Garcia throwing on first down. So things got off to a solid start, but after several weeks, you and Tommy had rotated quite a bit, reminiscent of Michigan when Tom Brady and Drew Henson split snaps. That had to be frustrating for you both. Some huge Wake up. To get to, and none more what are these dishes doing at my feet? Because it's time for you to start cleaning up your crap. Uh, these dishes have been lying in the sink for almost two weeks. I mean, look at this place. It's a disaster. You're leaving everything laying around. It's ridiculous. Who crawled up your butt and died? You. 
Gross. Hey, get up, man. I want to watch some TV. You've been laying out here all morning. What's got you two all riled up? <sighs> Just turn up the volume, would you? The Heartbreak Kids have gone from sensational dynamic duo to a sudden two-headed monster. And boy, this is an ugly one. Hey, I thought I played pretty good out there. This team still has not found its identity, and I know that Coach O'Brien claims that his two-quarterback system is matchup-based, but I gotta tell you, it sure looks like he still doesn't have a clue what's going on. As Coach Madden famously once said, if you've got two quarterbacks, you've got none. And right now, I gotta tell you, man, Coach O'Brien's indecisiveness with the most important position on the team is only gonna lead to problems on the field. The answer is simple. Just start me. That would make the situation worse. I mean, the team plays better when I'm on the field. Everybody knows that. If I could just get into a rhythm, I'd be fine. Last thing I need is to be worrying about you breathing down my neck if I make one mistake. Well, you better believe it that I'll be there when you do. Okay, I see what's going on here, Cass. I don't know what made you follow me here and try to win back your old position. I mean, you could have just kept the heartbreak kids going, or you could have went your own route on another team, but you decided to, what, come here and punish me? Is that it? What are you talking about? You're the one who showed up and stole what was mine in the first place, okay? I'm supposed to be Batman, you're Robin. Look, I get you upset, but we're in this together. No, we're not. I'm just gonna leave. I don't know what his problem is. You gotta go talk to him, man. Go clear the air. He's the one with the problem. Look, if he wants to talk, he can... You can come find me. <sighs> Jumping fiddlesticks. Whoa, who the hell? That's not me. Who is Barrett? Somebody tell me. Where am I? Did I change my name and number and the game did not tell me? Like, what's going on, man? What's going on? So on the strength of five touchdown passes from their junior quarterback, the Oregon Ducks are moving on to play for a national championship. You all right? I'll be fine. I was you last week. I know exactly what you're going through. You didn't have to sit through this championship game, though. No, but I did sit out our first state title game. It wasn't easy to do. For all I know, this could be my only shot at it. Then I guess we'll just have to... Do this all over again next season, huh? Good luck out there tonight. Thanks. Who rained on your parade, little Miss Sunshine? I am not in the mood for this right now. It's because you're not playing, I take it. Like, I haven't had a bad enough day already. Now I have to deal with you. I know you upset. But that dude Tommy's your brother. And brothers should always have each other's backs. And wipe that sourpuss look off your face. It's game time. You okay, son? Yeah. Yeah, Coach, I... I just... Tommy. You all right, Tommy? We need some help over here! Hurry! You got my back, right? Of course. Always. I think I'll go out there and finish this thing. All right, my game glitched. One shot. That's all any of us ever really gets. I went in my whole life for one shot at being a head coach. And here I am. This is your one shot to go out there and show the world who you are. 
You're the guy who's gonna lead this team to victory. Are you gonna be remembered as the guy who got caught up in the moment and let it all slip away? I know you're worried about Tommy. Sure, we all are. But this is your one moment. Now get after it, son. Get some. Why am I so Barrett? On first down, Barrett to throw. Flushed out right. Throwing right, and that's complete. Now they work this one move. First and ten. Sliding out of the pocket. His throw caught at about the five. And he will score. Touchdown, Ducks. What the hell happened to my game, man? And celebration time on that sideline. It took a change of quarterback. His thoughts will turn to the condition of Tommy Matthews. But for now, jubilation as they are the national champions. What the hell does happen, dude? That, that's, that's so dumb. That kind of ruined the game and everything for me. But the bond that these two kids have is really strong. And although only one of the heartbreak kids was out there in the second half, Tommy's spirit was with him, and I believe... You hear from Mr. Matthews? The hoodie gave it away. He's stable. But we're only allowing family to go back right now. <laughs> That's great, because he's my brother. And I'm proud of what he's accomplished this season. I think there's only one individual on everyone's mind tonight. This one's for my brother, Tommy Matthews. You think that's something? I should see it in person. <laughs> oh, man. That's so cool. Uh, uh. Oh, thanks so much for coming and bringing this. You kidding me? I wouldn't miss this for anything. Coaching the guys in their best. They waited as long as they could, but no one knew when you might wake up, so they had to catch their flights back. I told Coach I wasn't about to split up the heartbreak kid, so I stay behind, make sure you were all right. Thanks, man. I'm just glad you're here. Hey, they did leave you the trophy. They wanted to make sure you had it when you woke up. <sighs> How are you feeling, buddy? Uh, like a sack of crap. It's funny, because that's exactly what I was going to say you look like. <laughs> Hey, man, promise me one thing. Anything. That you'll come back next year and make him win the championship together. Next year? You know I will, brother. Together. Yeah. <clears throat> Doc said I shouldn't overdo it. Did she say what caused all this? Yeah. Something about the stress from my filthy roommate leaving his dishes lying around the apartment. She said if it weren't for that, I'd be the pinnacle of health. Please. <laughs> hey, seriously. You gotta start cleaning up after yourself. It's ridiculous. Really? Right now? <laughs> yeah. Is that him? He's an hour early. Coach? Don't look too disappointed. No, no. I was just expecting Tommy. Come in. Care for a cupcake? No, thanks. So, you here for the party? No. Give me a minute. Okay, Coach. Actually, I'm, uh... We had to talk to you about next season. Yeah, sure. Talk away. It was uh, it was something you said at the uh, at the start of the season earlier. It really stuck with me. It's something good, I hope. Well, it was something you said about treat your men like your beloved sons and. I'll follow you into the deepest valley. And that really got me. It got me thinking about the way I treat you boys, and, and I wasn't being fair to you and Tommy, for that matter, or the team. Wow, Coach, I really appreciate that. 
All that being said, I, I wanted to go into the offseason with everyone on the same page. I figured the best way that we could do that would be to announce a starter. Tommy's gonna be our starter. But how could you possibly make that decision after the title game? Is Tommy even gonna be able to play? Yeah, I spoke with his doctor. Uh, valve replacement surgery was great. He's gonna be right as rain. I just don't understand. I know this is hard for you. It's, it's hard for you to process, and, and I hope you believe me when I say that I take no joy in making this decision. But I stand firmly behind it, because frankly, Tommy's a better fit for the offense. What does this mean for me? Well, it, uh, it means that you are at a monumental crossroads in your life, and you've got two choices. You can enter the draft, and based on what you did last year, I'd say you'd be lucky to get picked in the third round. But realistically, you're looking at a late-round selection, if at all. Jeez. Don't sugarcoat it for me. Well, I'm trying to be open and honest with you from this moment forward. I'm giving it to you as I would my own beloved son. And my other choice? Well, the way I see it, you got too much raw athleticism to waste sitting on the bench. Your talent is a true gift. And it's one that I'm gonna give you the opportunity to show it to the world. And how's that? You get to pick a new position on offense and get your heartbreak kids thing going back again. Heartbreak kids. <laughs> I appreciate the faith, Coach, but... I'm gonna play QB at the next level. Seems like leaving now is my only shot. That's probably true. Wow. I did not expect all this to come to a head so soon. Well, anything you need, just call. And when those NFL coaches come calling, trust that I'll have your back. <laughs> I'm not sure what's more strange, that interaction or the general cleanliness of this apartment. Cupcake! So, the NFL Combine, I spent so much time preparing for it, but some things you can't ever really say you're ready for. That's how the week felt to me. I walked away from the press conference feeling a buzz. I said a lot of things, but will my performance back it up? No, 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 no. No, this cannot be happening. Okay. Oh, oh man, okay. Think. It's the last place you looked at him. If you knew where you last saw him, they wouldn't be lost now, would they? Yeah, thanks. Ought to help you are. Oh! Oh, you... You're rich. Say it with me now. Eisen. Right, Eisen. You're a rich Eisen. Big fan. <laughs> I'm gonna be the... Laughing stock of your next broadcast, aren't I? Depends. You're gonna run the 40 barefoot? I may have a little fun with you, but don't worry. I won't make you a running joke, huh? Come on. I thought it was pretty good. <laughs> uh, maybe not your best, but I I'll tell you what. You let me wear your cleats, I'll laugh at any joke you have. I mean, seriously, I'm desperate. Try them on. See if they fit. What's the verdict? Um, perfect fit, but honestly, 
And I don't mean to sound ungrateful, but they're a little damp. They're like really damp. Did you go swimming in these? Thought you said you were a fan. If you were, then you'd know I just ran my annual Run Rich Run 40 for charity. Ah, oh, right. Right, how'd it go? Let's just say my days of keeping up with Saquon Barkley are behind me. Maybe you'll fare better than I did out there. What was your time? 5.98, baby. <laughs> well, I can't do any worse. I've seen statues move faster than that. All right, well, I want you to go out there and post a time of at least 4.6. Think you could swing that? With as much adrenaline as I have coursing through my veins right now from trying to find my cleats, there's no way I don't beat the combine record. I'll tell you what, I'll be even faster. Just watch. Now that is what I like to hear. You're going to be helping those kids at St. Jude more than you know. Go get them, champ. Hope those shoes bring you good luck and an even better 40 time. <laughs> Thanks again, man. Ooh. Yep, I feel it. Welcome to another exciting edition of the NFL Scouting Combine. I'm Rich Eisen, and I'll be your tour guide as we meet the next crop of elite NFL talent. We're going to start things off with my personal favorite, the event that can break the spirit of any man, the 40-yard dash. First up, we've got one half of America's darlings, the Heartbreak Kids, an intriguing draft prospect to say the least. Ooh. I'm about to sweep this combine. That's possible. Oh, never mind. Oh, we good. We good. JK. Let's go. What a dot. Well, today yeah. had a little bit of it all. Select few guys who may have just cemented their place as one of the top picks in the upcoming NFL draft. Until next time, I'm Rich. Ayer. Welcome to the 2020 NFL draft. Sure, the experts have done 2.7 million mock drafts, but you can toss those babies out the window. Welcome back to the first round of the 2020 NFL Draft. Hey, this is the offensive coordinator of the Chicago Bears. How you feeling right now? Oh, everything's great, coach. Well, look, son, we've been following you for quite some time, and we believe you could be an integral part of this team. Thank you, sir. Thank you so, so much. I can't tell you how much this means to me. And I'm ready to do whatever it takes to show you I'm worth your pick. <laughs> I know you will. I'll expect you to show up ready, okay? That'll be the first one there. Can't wait. And I'm just getting confirmation that the pick is in. Let's take it to the podium to see who the next pick in the draft is going to be. What a phenomenal pick. This kid has shown some elite abilities on the field. He's a freak athlete, totally capable of taking over a game in the right system. All right. Look at me, number 10. I just stole Trubisky's number. All right, and that's going to do it, guys. That's going to be the college and combine and draft portion of this series. So now we start our journey in the NFL with the Chicago Bears. Hopefully, like I said, do a lot better than Trubisky did in that number 10. Hopefully that we have a stellar working season and just carve a good path for our NFL career. You thought making it to the league was it? This is only the beginning. Our journey to the Super Bowl starts now.